In this video, we're going to show you how to create a one by one Lego brick using AutoCAD Inventor. So to open it up, you want to head down to the Start menu, and you'll find Inventor either under Autodesk or Autodesk Inventor 2019, or whatever year you're using. So we're going to Autodesk Inventor Professional 2019 installed in this machine. I've already got it open, but you can just click on that to open it up. I've got this open just to speed things up. Once Inventor opens up, you should be greeted with a screen like this here. When we go up to the top left corner, and we've got a kind of page symbol above the word new, you can just click on that there. That's going to give you an option of creating a new part. What we need to make sure we're using is we're using the metric. So we want to be working millimeters, so you need to select metric and then click standard mm. Once that's highlighted, you can just click create, and this will open up a new parts window. On the top here we've got our toolbar, and there are lots of tools here, and in this one here we'll mainly be using our 2D sketch and extrude. So, to get started, we're going to head up to Start 2D Sketch, so we can click on that there, where the little pencil icon is, and then we'll have three planes. Planes are basically kind of like vertical sheets that we can draw on. So we're going to be creating a 3D model, but to do that we're going to be using 2D sketches. So we can select a plane to draw on. We want to select this kind of horizontal one, which is called the XZ plane. And you'll see that's kind of listed in this corner here, or detailed in that corner there. So we can click on that when it's bright red, and that takes you in to the drawing environment, a sketch environment. So this environment is 2D. It's like drawing on a sheet of paper. So up here we've got a variety of shapes and stuff we can draw, and we want to use the rectangle tool. So we can just click on the rectangle, and it's called the two-point rectangle. If that's not the one that's selected, you can click on the rectangle, it'll drop down arrow below that there, and select that there. You'll notice if we hover over it, it gives you an idea of what the tool does and how you use it. So that's the one we want, so we'll just select that. And then we want to go into our drawing area here. So I'll just zoom out a little bit. So I can click, if I hover over that yellow dot in the middle, you see it goes green. And that means that part of the rectangle is going to stay in that spot. So I can click there. I'm just going to drag out upwards and to the right. And don't worry too much about the sizes. We can just click there. We can then press the escape key, and that gets rid of that tool. So we've got a rectangle there. Now we want to make it a square, but we want to make it to have the dimensions of 8 millimeters by 8 millimeters. So we want to go up to the dimension tool on the top toolbar here and click on that there. And now we want to add these dimensions. So what you need to do is you need to click on the line that you want to dimension, click off the line, and then type in the dimension you want. So if we type in 8, you can see it's got a lot smaller. If your object appears to disappear off the screen, you may need to zoom in or out to find it. And it may just be because it's got a lot smaller or a lot bigger. So this, what you're seeing on your screen doesn't show it. So we've got eight there, and then we want to add, click on that line there, and add the dimension again of eight. So I clicked on the line, then I clicked off the line, and now I can type in the dimension I want. So we've got our a square there now. So now I can go up and click Finish Sketch. At this point, I'd recommend saving it. Okay, We can't save when we're in the sketch environment, so you have to come out, click Finish Sketch, and we can go up and click Save. So we can go File, Save As, and we can choose where we want to save that there. I'm going to save that into my OneDrive, S1, Work, and I'm going to save that in a folder called CAD that I created earlier. I'm going to save it, I'm going to call it One by One. And I'll just click Save. That means, as we work, Autodesk will save, so if it does crash for any reason, we won't lose as much work as we might if we hadn't saved it at all. But we will use the save icon at the top left to go along and save it at different points as well. So, we've got our square there. So next thing we want to do is extrude. So we hit the extrude tool here. And you see it automatically selects the rectangle. It knows we want to use that rectangle because it's the only rectangle the square there, the sketch we have. So, we've got that added. It's giving us a distance of 10 millimeters under extents and distance. We want to make that 9, so we're just going to type 9 in there instead. And that's us done. So we can just click OK. And now we've got our, rect our cuboid, which is 8mm by 8mm by 9mm. So we're kind of getting there towards our Lego brick. We want to add 
um, a little circular cylinder on the top of the Lego brick. So we're going to start 2D sketch again. And this time, rather than using a plane, we're going to click on the top of our cuboid. So we can click on the top there. And we want to add our circle. So up in the menu bar, we can click on circle. And we can just click and draw a circle there. Again, you can go up to the dimension tool. Then click on the circle, click off the circle, and you can type in four. So we want a circle of four millimeters. Now that doesn't look like it's in the middle of the top of the block there. So what we want to do is we need to add dimension so we know it's nice and accurate. So we can click on the bottom edge. We can click on the middle point there. And we see it's four, and then we click again. You can see it's four point three, so we want to make that four and press and tick the green tick. And then we want to click on the other edge there, the right hand edge, and again click on the middle point. And again click off and type in four. And that's moved into the middle there. So that's looking a lot better. And then click finish sketch. So we now need to extrude our circle at the top, so we have a little cylinder, so we can click extrude again. It's not automatically picked up when we want to draw this, so we're going to have to select that circle. And you see it goes red when we're hovering over it and click. And this time it's trying to extrude it for nine. Now that doesn't look like a Lego brick. So what we're going to use is a distance of 1.7. And that looks a lot better there. So we can click OK. So we've got it starting to look like a Lego brick. But one thing that's not quite right is if we look underneath and we can rotate the block like to look underneath by holding shift and then using pressing the middle mouse key to rotate that round the scroll wheel. So pressing down the scroll wheel and holding shift to do that there. We can also use this cube in the top corner to rotate that round. So we can use it to look underneath. So we can see the bottom there now. So Lego bricks, they're normally uh, hollow on the inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a cut into it. And what we call it the extrude subtract. So again we want to add a 2D sketch. So we can click on the bottom where we want to add a sketch. And we want to use a rectangle again. So we select a rectangle. And we're going to draw a rectangle just in the middle there. Don't worry about the sizes just yet. And click. So we've got a rectangle there. Now we need to add some dimensions. Our Lego bricks are have a wall thickness. So we want the walls on the outside of the hole in the middle to be 0.8 millimeters. So we're going to select each edge and then select the nearest side of the rectangle. So click on both of them and then click off and type in 0.8. Click the edge of our box, click the nearest side of that rectangle we've drawn, and then again, click off, and then type in 0.8. Click the third side that we've not used yet, click the nearest side of the rectangle we've drawn, and then click somewhere else, and again, we can type in 0.8, and click the side of the rectangle here, and click the side of our block there, and again, click elsewhere, and that gives us uh, and it is mentioned at 0.8. So when we cut into this, there's going to be a wall around the outside of 0.8 millimeters. So we can click finish sketch again, and you see that's all gone blue, and that means it's fully constrained, so it won't move around at all. So now we click the extrude tool again, and again it's not picked up the profile we need. So as long as that little red arrow's got blue, the box is blue there, we can select which one we want. And you see it gives us two options around the outside of that middle uh, cube. So we're going to click on that middle cube there. Just, and it's trying to add more material there. We don't want to add more material. We want to cut into our little block. So we want to go up to here, and we want to, there's three options in the middle. Join is automatically selected. Below that, we've got cut. And finally, we've got intersect. Now, we want to use cut. So just click cut. And you see, it should flip around and start cutting into the block. Now, we want to cut in to there for 8.2 millimeters. So once we've done that, you see it's gone all the way inside, you've got a kind of faint red um, showing where the cut will be. And at this point here we can just click OK. And now if we rotate that round, so we hold Shift and hold the middle mouse button down, I can move that round. I can see that that's now hollow on the inside. So that's looking like a Lego brick does. If at any point you lose your work, what you can go up is you can go up to the top here, top right, and you just click that little house button. And that'll bring the work back down onto the screen now. So that's really useful to know. 
looking a bit grey at the moment. Now, a lot, some Lego bits are grey, but you might want to add a bit of colour. So you can go up to default here, and we can add some colour. So you can, maybe I'll make that cyan. You can choose which colour you'd like to make it. And that's our stuff. We can click save there, and that's it saved. So in this here, in this tutorial, we've used extrude and subtract extrude. And you'll notice that the three sides at the side here, what we call the model tree, we've got extrusion one, where we did a block, extrusion two, where we did our little cylinder, and extrusion three, where we did our cut into the bottom there.